hey lovelies welcome back to the channel so if you are new here my name is bridget and on this channel i do a lot of diy natural um hair care videos you know show you all how to grow your hair using your own uh, ingredients in your kitchen and I also do a lot of protective hairstyle videos for kids so consider subscribing if you are not yet subscribed to this channel and you're gonna be loving it here so guys in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how I use aloe vera together with blue magic hair grease to go our hair longer thicker healthier and all those good stuff like guys you can literally use just aloe vera and hair grease to go your hair to your desired hair length or to your desired hair goals yeah so today i'm just going to be showing you all how you can you, you know use these two super amazing ingredients aloe vera is a natural ingredient and hair grease has been in in the natural hair community for like uh, for like ever guys i think hair grease is the is, is the most common um hair products like everyone knows these like from your childhood we have all used hair grease at one point in time and it is so really really good for the hair if you know how to use hair grease guys your hair is going to strive just with hair grease like trust me on this and i'm going to be showing you all how i use the hair grease for hair growth so the first thing i did was just scoop out the aloe vera gel because of course we are going to be using aloe vera together with the hair grease so i'm going to be scooping the aloe vera gel and i make sure that i scoop out every bit of the gel from the uh, from the from the aloe vera skin so i'll just go ahead to blend and you can also scoop it out and you don't blend i think some people are really good at scooping aloe vera you know just the liquid but guys i find it a little bit challenging to scoop out just the liquid so i just most of the times i just scoop out like the lumps and then i just blend it and you have to make sure to blend very well like as you can see i shook it and then i shook it and then i blended it again so just so that everything is like well blended yeah so i'm going to be using this uh stocking i think this one is like a, a, a cap a stocking cap i use um i use this one for my diy so you can just use even a cheesecloth or you can use any cloth with very very tiny holes so you are just going to get rid of every dirt and particles that did not blend very well because you do not want any dirt and particle to be stuck on your hair after you use your aloe vera because guys it is really not fun to get dirt and particles stuck on your hair like they take forever to be washed away and you can apply the aloe vera like that on your hair just the aloe vera but i love to go in with a conditioner this one is from herbal essences so i just love to scoop out a little bit and then i'll be using this stress semi conditioner i just love to mix them together because stress semi has a lot of sleep like super good sleep but the herbal essence has a lot more um like very very good ingredients so i just mix everything together like guys i love to do this because i get the most out of the aloe vera like aloe vera together with the moisturizing conditioner works really really well but you can use just the aloe vera if you wish but i just love to go in with some extra moisture because guys it's winter we do not want to be walking around with dry hair so i just love to mix a little bit of conditioner you know to give that extra moisture but like i said you can use just the aloe vera um you know as your conditioner so I just go ahead to apply it on her hair her hair was washed like her hair was shampooed i'm insisting because some people will come in the comment section and ask if you have to wash your hair before doing this the hair was shampooed so i am applying this conditioner as a deep conditioner not a leave-in as a deep conditioner i always want or i always advise you guys to watch the videos to the end or to watch at least 70 or 80 percent of the video because when you watch the video and then you come and ask a lot of questions which are really really like everything is clarified for example someone can come and ask me if they should use comb i'm using comb on the video guys so just please make sure to watch the videos because i don't have i don't really have so much time to go 
um you know to the comments and answer every single question so please just make sure to watch the videos at least 70 or 80 percent you're going to get many like you're going to get amazing tips and ideas i always talk i always do voiceovers so i give you guys tips and tricks you know to make this um to make this work yeah so i just go ahead to comb the hair and you have to make sure to start combing from the from the ends to the root yeah don't start to comb from the root to the end you have to comb from the end right up to the root and this is what it looks like after i am done like her hair is so saturated with it guys you can do this every week trust me your hair is going to flourish like never before and i'll just cover it with this um plastic uh with shower cap and then i'll just put this my a go to hair bonnet this one it just heats up the hair and open up your hair cuticles especially if you have low porosity hair it is just so good for your hair so this is the leftovers you can keep this in the refrigerator just put it in a container you close it and you keep it in the refrigerator so moving on to our blue magic i'm going to be um you know i'm just going to play with the blue magic a little bit and the first thing i did was to get a bow these bows i use them for my diys i have a lot of bows and equipment and spoons i use just for my diy so yeah so i just scoop out like two spoons and then i'm going to be adding olive oil you can add coconut oil you can add almond oil olive oil but i just love to go in with olive oil because olive oil is really really light weighted um it is with olive oil and almond oil are the best oils you can use on your hair if you are looking for that moisturizing like effect or moisturizing oil so i just add a just like the quantity i needed for the uh for the blue magic to be to be like a little bit the watery as you can see the consistency this is the consistency i am going in for yeah so if you do this just play with your blue magic a little bit and you're going to get the best result so after 30 to 40, 40 minutes i'm going to take the the shower cap out and guys look how conditioned her hair was look at the before and the after photo like the difference is clear her hair is super moisturized i do this on all my daughters guys the new regimen is the truth <laughs> so if you have not watched my other videos just go ahead to watch them i have a lot of diys and what we use on our hair and her hair was shampooed at this point i shampooed her sorry her hair was washed i rinsed off the deep conditioner and i'm going to be applying the leave-in conditioner and the one i'm using is from african pride miracle moist leave-in conditioner i love this conditioner because it has a lot of in fact i don't know amazing ingredients it has um it is a little bit thick you can use it on your hair um without any like <laughs> i'm going to be using this heat, heat protectant spray it's just a random heat protectant spray i got from my local beauty supply store here in sweden i got it from normal if you live in sweden if you live in denmark they sell it at normal so just go ahead and i think it's not that it is not that complicated just get any blow um heat protectant of your choice you apply it on your on the hair because i am going to be blow drying her hair guys like i've always said like for the past six months i've insisted that you have to stretch your hair guys because what i experience <laughs> i've i've gone through that that process and i'm not going in you know the second time if i leave our hair kinky you know or in the kinkiest state guys it's going to break especially my hair i have type 4c hair type 4b type 4c jasmine has type 4c and this is my other daughter she has um i think she has type 4b type 4 is type 4b i don't really know yeah so i'm just going to be using the blue magic to just seal in the moisture and when blow drying the hair i don't make it to be like super dry no i just want everything i just want it to be a little bit stretched then you know i still have some moisture left on the hair from the leave-in conditioner and then i'm just going to apply the hair grease to seal in the moisture guys if you do this trust me your hair is going to be moisturized throughout the week like this is not a joke like this thing can literally change your hair game i mean this this entire process can literally change your hair game so 
I'm just going to continue to blow dry the hair. And you can also use the African treading method to blow dry your hair if you do not want to use heat on your hair. But I do not think that blow dryers can cause heat damage on your hair. No, no. It is when you apply too much heat like the hot irons on your hair, you know, frequently that can cause heat damage. But if you just blow dry your hair, you know, every wash day, it is not going to cause any heat damage on your head trust me and you also have to make sure to use your blow dryer on like a medium setting i don't advise using it on the very cool setting guys it takes a lot of time for no just cost yeah so i'm just going to continue to just do the same um the same uh, method you know i comb the hair i apply heat protectant leave-in conditioner i stretch the hair and then i apply the hair grease then after that i'm going to do a super cute protective hairstyle there's a video yesterday i posted on the protective hairstyle i did after doing this hair treatment and all the stuff so go ahead to check out that video i think the video before this one so guys thank you all for watching and remember to um to subscribe remember to click the like button comment down below what you think about blue magic if you have ever used blue magic before just tell me about uh, you know how you feel about blue magic and also i have chebe powder for sale i have shea butter directly from chad so i ship worldwide so i've i did the first shipping the first batch of shipping last um two days ago so and i i have like like the, the shipping are trackable so i'm going to ship everything i do not have a website as of now but i'm going to create a website you know in the future so just go ahead to dm me in the inst on my instagram or you can um also send me an email i'll be putting my email and the link to my instagram in the description box down below so you can contact me and you can you know purchase your product so thank you all for watching and see you in my next video have a blessed day bye